These are instructions to put together my waterfall card. In this version, I've used Cricut Cuties to adorn the king, the queen, and the jack of the card set. First thing we're going to do is just glue our cards to the corresponding backing. Next, we're going to grab this rectangle that has score lines at every 7 eighths of an inch until the bottom. You see this panel is a little bit longer than the rest of them. You want that one on your right hand side. Next, grab your pull tab. You want to glue this piece. You want it flush against that tab and you want it centered on the vertical. So you want equal amounts on the top and the bottom here. So we're just going to put a little bit of glue on that tab. We're just going to position as straight as you can get it. Then we're going to take our cards and we want to put them in a particular order. Um, I wanted mine from Ace, Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Ten. I wanted them in order. So I took my Ace first. And I put glue just between the end panel and the first score line. And I position my card so that's exactly on the end of that tab. So it's flush with the end and it's flush with each side of the pull tab. And when your glue is sufficiently dry, you want to pull that back and you're going to put glue again between the two score lines again. So just make sure you don't get any glue anywhere except between those two score lines. And that's where your king is going to go. And again, you want it flush against. So make sure it's flush against the line here and that it's exactly straight along the edges of the previous card that you've put down. And once your glue is nice and dry, you just fold over to the next score line. That's basically what you're going to do for the remainder of the cards. So, taking my queen, she's face up, she's against the edge here, she's perfectly in line with the previous cards. back and glue between the score lines. What I've done is I've used adhesive vinyl for my message and there's a very good reason for that. You want this to be able to slide through this tab. If you put anything with any kind of dimension it's going to get stuck on your mechanism. So you have to be very careful. Ensure that you have something that's nice and flat and that will easily glide underneath this mechanism. I'm just going to glue my panels. My panel on the inside is smooth. My panel on the outside has that debossing on it. I used holographic craft board, which I thought was an interesting and it doesn't really show on camera, but in person it's quite something. I'm just going to adhere my panels to the card base. Next, we're going to glue this piece to the accordion part of your card. So what you want to do is flip it upside down. And we're just going to put glue on the edge of this piece here. And what you want to do is you have to place this on the edge of this piece. But you also want to center it. You want to have equal parts here and there. If you flip it over, you can probably tell a little bit better. So flip around again and just make sure that it's exactly on the edge of this panel. And this panel is still nice and free. Okay, and we're going to flip it over. Grab your card base. 
Now what you can do now is just put glue on this section and this section of those tabs. You don't want it going anywhere near the edges because these edges are the part that still have to move back and front. What I'm going to do is try something a little bit different. I wanted to use foam tape. You can use glue. I've used glue and it's worked beautifully. But I just want to try it with some foam tape. And then you want to position your card. So this entire piece, try to center it on your panel and make sure that the edge of your pull is still on the edge of the card. And press down. If you've used foam tape, just press down securely. And if you've used glue, make sure your glue is nice and dry. And the rest is just decoration. In the file, I've included a cutie that you can piece together and put on the side and a little sentiment that you can add. We put a ribbon here on the end as a pull. 